بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹل مین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ یو ار واچنگ پاکستان 360 فرام یو ایس اے اینڈ دی سیگمنٹ از دین اینڈ دنیا آئی ایم یوسف چودھری یور ہوسٹ ایز یوژول اینڈ ٹوڈے مائی گیسٹ از اے ویری اسپیشل گیسٹ برادر عبد اللہ ہی از فرام ایجپٹ برادر عبد اللہ السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ تھینک یو ویری مچ فار جوائننگ اینڈ اسپیئرنگ یور ٹائم اینڈ یور کمٹمنٹ اینڈ ایوری تھنگ as uh, you know the ramadan is around the corner and everyone is uh, pretty excited and getting ready for that so ladies and gentlemen the whole plan is brother abdullah is so committed and uh, he has uh, done a commitment with me for the whole month of ramadan mashallah he will stay with me and we will go on uh, small basic islamic questions that we will be able to keep uh, spreading all over the world as uh, much as we can as far as uh, uh, we can go So brother Abdullah my very first question in this program is like I just want to throw a very simple question like what is a human what is insan number one thing and then I would like to differentiate it from the muslim first of all assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wa salatu wassalamu ala ashrafil mursalin uh, welcome brothers and sisters Uh, thank you for um, participating in this program. May Allah reward you and may Allah make it a benefit for all of us, inshallah. And may Allah so will make us a benefit from this knowledge. Yes, uh, I am Abdullah Abdul Karim and I'm originally from Cameroon. Even though Egypt is my second home, I'm originally <laughs> from Cameroon, uh, West my Coast. Africa. And Jazakallah Khair, brother Chowdhury, may Allah reward you for um, for inviting this idea. Uh, my pleasure. So, Insan... Insan is one of the creations of Allah Azza wa Jal. The first insan that was created, we all know the story, Adam alayhi salam. And Allah is saying in the Quran that, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمِ That Allah created the insan in the best shape and form. Look at us. We are a miracle. We are a living miracle of the creation of Allah Azza wa Jal. Such a perfect creation that Allah made us, subhanAllah. And he has favored us from Allah. many other creation that he created. He gave us the ability to see, to listen, uh, to articulate language, to be able to understand language, to be able to communicate. He taught us the name of things. And he taught Adam السلام, the knowledge of all things. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he created this insan with his own hand. which is, this is Ashraf al-Makhulluqat. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us really sharaf with this, with, with this, with this creation. And him, he made from this insan the best, Ashraf al-Makhulluqat, which is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The best of creation of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Allah honored us. Allah created us and Allah honored us by, um, uh, by making us in the best shape and form. And this is for the purpose, for no other purpose, but to worship him. So how you can differentiate an insan from a Muslim? Everything by default is in the state of submission to Allah Azza wa Jal. The only two creation that has a choice whether to submit or not to submit their will to Allah is the jinn and the humans. And even them... We cannot control our bodies. Our bodies don't listen to us. You could you could ask your heart not to beat. It would not listen to you. It would obey Allah. It's obeying Allah. You could ask your eyes, you know, try not to not to breathe. Try not to do things. You, you will not be able to. Allah gave us very little control over things, over, th- over the things that we can have control of. So in reality, willingly or unwillingly, our bodies obey Allah. Allah is saying even the shade of Bani Adam is doing sujood to Allah. Even the people who don't do sujood to Allah, their shade is doing prostration to Allah. So this is just the default state of everything in the heavens and the earth. To Allah prostrate, to Allah prostrate whatever in the heavens and whatever in the earth, willingly or unwillingly. This is uh, the de facto uh, state of everything. So our real state, our original state is actually just submission. And even the children of those who don't believe they are by default, they're Muslims. 
Every person, every insan that is born, is born a Muslim until they reach the age of puberty and then they they choose to go one way or another, whether to submit to Allah or not to submit to Allah. So that is the difference. The message of all the Prophet is, Every Prophet that came to his people with the same message, Oh my people, Worship nobody but Allah Azza wa Jal. Recognize who gave you the blessings. Recognize who made you. Recognize who shaped you. Recognize who gave you food, drinks, who gave you clothes, who gave you this world to live in, who gave you the earth, who gave you plants. Recognize him and be grateful for what he gave you and obey nobody but him and worship him. That's the message of all the prophets. Worship him alone. Do not associate anyone with Allah because no one can create. No one else can create. No one else can provide what Allah provides for you. People can make things out of the things that Allah created. Nowadays, we, we are, we're very advanced in technology. People take the things that Allah created and make things out of them and get impressed by the things that they make from the things that Allah already created. And they, they say we create. Nobody can create anything. The only creator is Allah. We take the things that Allah created and we transform them. The best person that gave us the definition of Islam is actually Jibril alayhi salam. He came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Medina and he sat, uh, it's called Hadith Jibril alayhi, uh, Jibril alayhi salam. He came, he sat with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he asked Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told him, Ya Muhammad, akhbirna al Islam. Ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he, tell, he told him, tell me what is Islam. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, he said, Islam is to believe in Allah, associate nobody but Allah Azza wa Jal, to say, Ashadu wa la ilaha sharna Muhammad Rasulullah, wa yaqam al-salah, wa ita'i zakah, wa sawm ramadan, wa hajj al-bayt, liman istata ilayhi sabila. So this is Islam. Islam is a person that submits and surrenders their will to the will of Allah, recognize that Allah is the one that, is the only one that is deserving to be worshipped, meaning that we should do things to please nobody, nobody but Allah. We should not do things to please ourselves or make others happy with us except for the sake of Allah if you give charity give it for Allah if you if, if you fast fast for Allah if you pray pray for Allah not for sure if you read the Quran read it for the sake of Allah if you learn knowledge it's for the sake of Allah because Allah does not accept anything that is done while associating somebody else with him it becomes shirk it becomes riya Let's say you pray and because you saw somebody walking in and you make your prayer a better prayer so that the person can see you, you're already in trouble because now you're associating somebody with Allah. Or you read in the Quran and you change your voice, you make your voice beautiful because some some you have an audience just walked in and you change it, subhanAllah, so that people can say, oh, you are a great reciter, you're a beautiful reciter. <laughs> so so Allah, Allah does not like to associate a deed that is done while associating with Allah is rejected by Allah, is not accepted. So a Muslim is a person who does things solely to please nobody but Allah, not to please himself or please others, who surrenders and submits to the commandments of Allah, to what Allah wants, to what Allah desires, basically. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jazakallah, Jazakallah, Brother Abdullah. MashaAllah. Shukru